back finally today. Can you just give us a sense of how he changes the overall composition and ability of your defense score? Well, we don't really know play-wise yet. Um, you know, there's a big difference between the American League and the NHL. Presence-wise, he commands the room, and that's important. So he brings an element of, even when he was rehabbing and, and um, practicing with us, he commands a respect in the room. He's, he's a pro's pro. So I think everybody in that room and every coach is hoping that he, he has a great start and then he, he shows that he can keep up and continue his career because he's got the ultimate respect from everybody in that room. He, he asks questions in meetings that nobody else asks. He wants clarification, stuff like that, that nobody is willing to ask. He asks those questions. That's a pro. And, you know, I think everybody's hoping that he really has a good start. Uh, and Sam Gagne is a player that's obviously familiar with Edmonton and the organization. What do you see out of him, and how he's getting, how can he help you the rest of the way this season? He's a smart shooter. He's a, he's a shooter, which is going to help us a lot. The NHL to create offense, you got to put the puck onto the net to maintain possession. And he has no problem wanting to shoot the puck, which is really good for us because we don't shoot it enough. But the other thing is he's. You know, he's smart on the boards. And we need that type of hockey intelligence. The game's played on the wall a lot, and he's, he's a smart guy. And it showed up five or six times in the game. That was a tough day for him against the island, you know, driving in and stuff like that. And he, he showed composure in situations that we need. And so uh, just from another pro professionalism, I think it's going to help us. Ken, you mentioned shots as a team. You don't shoot enough. Uh, on the road trip, though, you did outshoot the opposition every night. Uh, are you seeing signs that your team's starting to want to fire the puck more, or is that just a three-game stretch? Well, I said this to people uh, before the road trip. I said, we haven't we, – we've either played well and, run, and won, Jason, or we've – played poorly and lost. That's been us. When we play poor, we've lost. And when we play good, we've won. This is the first time we've played really well and lost. And I've always felt like that's the next step to winning a lot of hockey games. And I hope that that comes through because we played awful well. We've played really well five of the last six games. Haven't got points from it, but they're huge steps. We look like we're organized on the ice. We look like there's some continuity and we want to continue to grow that. We're not where I want to be offensively, and we're not where I want to be um, kind of in keeping pucks alive in the offensive zone, but we're getting better. Could you, what's, um, what's your thought process with Toby Reeder? What have you seen in his game? And, um, you know, he's on your starting anyway in your second line for a guy who still doesn't have a goal. Um, it kind of seems odd. What, what do you like about his game? What do you think, you know, is he due for a goal? Uh, I haven't seen that he's due for a goal yet. You know, I... He, he maintains possession, but I think our look was in, in, in to play with Sam, we wanted two quick guys, and those are two quick guys that play with Sam. I, I don't think there's a big difference five on five minutes between Cave's line and, uh, and, and Nuge and Hopkins' line. I think Nuge gets all the minutes on the power play and killing penalties, but five on five, they, they both play about equal. So... Whatever line's going, we're going to go with five on five, whoever jumps up there. But uh, we're not opposed to switching out. If, if Milan looks like he has more impact up there, we'll do it. But, um, you know, he, the, the part, I think, I think Tobias can do a better job um, in controlling the game in the offensive zone, a much better job. And we've challenged him on that here in the last couple of days. What do you want to see from Josh Curry tonight in his first game? Uh, I've never seen him play hockey. I've never seen him. Um, I, I just, I, I mean, he obviously he's got a hot stick and he's playing really well. Uh, he's, he's at that age now where you want to know if you're a full or part-time NHL player. So we want to give him every opportunity. Uh, we'll have him on the power play hopefully here in the next couple of games. But we're hoping that 
We're hoping that what he did in the American Hockey League rubs off. There seems to be a lot of those players in our league right now in the last couple of weeks, and some of them have been pretty good. So if he helps us, he's a really smart player, and he's, he's very competitive. So, again, another guy that helps us. He's, he's, he's not a younger guy. He's been in the pros for four years now. So this is I'm, – I'm sure he's looking at this as his opportunity. Ken, just over here. Um, Bob Nicholson was on uh, CBC Radio this morning, and, and he was asked about, uh, you know, people – having already written the team off, but uh, he was saying a couple of three wins uh, and somehow we're still, we still have a shot. What's, what's your take on, on people having that uh, thought process that, you know, the season? Well, I, I don't blame them, uh, but I look at it as one day at a time. I look at it like there was one team kind of going backwards that had a playoff spot, and now there's two going backwards. And so somebody's going to get seven and eight, and both teams that are in seven and eight right now are going backwards. So I, my feeling is two teams could pick up here, and which are the two teams. And we know we got to go on a run. We know we got to we, – we, for me, and I know this is maybe selfish thinking this way, of all the teams around there, I feel like our team's playing the best. We're not winning, but we're playing the best. And eventually that's going to have to translate into wins. You can't just keep living on we're playing well, we're playing well. We've got to take the next step. But the last – Five of the last six games is the best we've played for a long time. And we got to trust that when you play well and lose, the next step is continue to play at that pace and then win. Because if we continue to play at this pace and win, we, we can go on a run if we're going to play this well. But eventually, if you keep playing well and you don't win, you get discouraged. And that's what we're